Check it out. In this video, I'm going to be going over some stickers and drawings I made during a live stream of last week. This live stream was somewhat of a rebirth of an old school kind of podcast style that I used to do way back when. And so I invited John Grimm on from the artist block and we talked and chatted while we made some art for a couple hours. It was definitely a good time and the comment section was flowing with suggestions and tons of requests as well. Conversation ranged from anything art related to some YouTube stuff as well as plenty more. The comment section filled in some of the downtime where we took on some different requests as far as names or topics to talk about. I'll have the full stream linked below as well as on screen if you want to check it out. Me and John definitely agreed that the longer form content allowed us to get a little bit deeper into some of our conversations than you know a normal 10 minute video would allow. John was actually working on a graffiti sculpture for the duration of the stream so it'd be really cool to check out the progress along that project. Let's jump into some of the drawings I made. So kicking off with some tributes to John we have uh, some different grim tags. A few of these are a little better than others, definitely a range of me practicing and whatnot, as well as plenty of other stuff mixed in here, so it might jump around a little bit. Here we've got a lime green side tag just on an all white sticker. Like this tag a lot. One of the better grim tags, like that bottom of the R that goes into the eye. Went over these lines a few times to get a little bit deeper of a green, so you can see a little variation on those edges, but I like the contours on everything. Definitely found out that the GR combo in Grimm is not the easiest of letter combos, so maybe I could use a little bit more practice on hashing those out. Kind of a weird style there, nothing too special. Messy Grimm here with a lowercase g instead. Uppercase R definitely has way too much weight on this one. Kind of was going for a frostbite ice theme with this one, had a blue marker that was running quite low. So use that for the fill and then use the darker blue for that outline. A couple little uh, highlights there with paint marker, but uh, Crayola and Blick for everything else. We were doing some requests for Mula, M-U-L-A. This is probably one of the worst ones. We'll hopefully find some better ones in there. Started the stream off with this one, just a simple throw up with some extra weird fills on the inside. A little bit better moolah there with a, kind of a triangle style like the M and A combination there. L could still use a little bit of work. Working towards a little bit better of an L and A combo like the U on this one as well. Also a nice U on this guy. L's somewhat better, not all together. Definitely not the easiest of names. Was going after a little bit of a paisley design here and then I used paint markers to add the little paisley dollops all over and then a water base MTN color on the black outline. Simple Saturn tag, actually misread the comment, it was supposed to be Saturn so we'll see where the actual Saturn one pops up. SB, little Doze, definitely uh, could use some work on those letters. Try to do a more rigid style for Moolah. And the reason there's so many of these Moolah tags is that he actually sent in a donation for us, so we were able to both draw his name quite a few times to say a little thank you for that. This one's a little hard to hold without covering everything up. Another uh, lime green scythe, a little simple in this style. Real simple Moolah. Nice cursive Moolah. Gets a little messy in there, almost looks like we got some W's and whatnot. Hard lettering structure with the scythe. Real sloppy, kind of quick hand cursive once again. Now we've got a fluorescent pink and maroon cursive. This is on a sticker again with mostly paint markers from Molotow and then some Montana colors on the white. Another straight letter moolah side tag. These are all just Sharpie on priority mails. This one looks pretty good. Definitely went over it a few times. My Sharpie wasn't writing too smoothly. Could use a new bold one. I've been trying to work on a new S with the start of the line actually going into the top. So we'll see how I can make that work or not. Rust with some Crayolas. Definitely not the best contrasted piece, but Kind of cool color combo to try out. Purple side, I like the S on this one a lot. Trying to uh, work on that same style as before. Fast cursive. 
Here's that Saturn I mentioned before. A little better than uh, misspelling it. Straggler Grim up here. Simple lowercase. I don't think this one actually was on the stream, but just a little quick chrome guy. The cursive. I don't believe this one made it to the stream either, but it's a big water-based MTN. Kind of like the tag down at the bottom more than some of the other ones. The V could use a little bit more definition, but besides that, I like all these letters quite a bit. Another one in that same new style. I believe the rest of these are actually done off the of stream. I've just been you know, doodling with in the past, so. Who knows, I haven't even looked through the stack. We'll see what we come through. I like that cursive one. I like the taller cursive a little bit better. Messy as hell. Pretty messy. Another tall cursive. Quick little throw up. Just a doodle from the other night. Who knows what uh, what it is? Really, just randomness. Ballpoint pen on uh, some printer paper. Definitely gonna go back and see where the rest of this piece goes. So thank you for checking out this recap video. If you liked any of the stickers or whatnot, be sure to check out the stream where we actually make all of them, as well as we talk about a bunch of art projects and some of our new upcoming work. If you liked the video, be sure to spray that like button and consider joining the crew by subscribing. I post videos like this showing off graffiti art, as well as reviews and tutorials in art. I have content come out every week, so there's always going to be something unique coming through your feed. That's going to do it for me, guys. Peace.